So, Ms. Sabina, what questions did we read last time? Can you remind me? Ms. Sabina. I was not in the class last time, teacher. Okay. Sabina, you? Yes, sir. Uh, what is uh, recommended to be done after Vudu? First mm -hmm. question. Yes. The answer is uh, we perform two rakas of Salah after Vudu. Okay. For Vadi. Then uh, if uh, if one does not think about uh, what will happen when we do uh, these, when we offer these two rakah of Salah, uh, then uh, answer is then all our previous sins will be forgiven if we don't think about those worldly things. Okay. Then uh, what will happen when we pray five times and perform proper Vadu? There will be an expiation for whatever sins come in between Vudu and Salah. Okay. Then, hmm, what will happen if anyone perform proper Vudu and goes out to Masjid without any worldly motive except prayer? Then, answer is his previous sins will be forgiven. Good. Hmm. Then, uh, what shall we say after making Vudu? That is uh, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasulah. And? And whoever does this, uh, all eight doors of paradise will be open for him. Okay. Auzu billahi ibn shaitan nirajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we will study the book Sunan ibn Majah. And today we will study the hadith regarding fasting. The month of Ramadan is approaching. So this will be beneficial, beneficial for all of us, inshallah. So, Ms. Sabina, read this. Yes, sir. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah said, Every good deed of son of Adam will be multiplied manifold. A good deed will be multiplied 10 times uh, up to as many as 700 times or as much as Allah wills. Allah says, except for fasting, uh, which is for me and I shall reward for it. He gives us his desire and his food uh, for my sake. The fasting person has two joys, one when he breaks his fast and another when he meets his Lord. The smell that comes from the mouth of a fasting person is better before Allah than the fragrance of musk. So this is the importance of fasting. We see every good thing that we do is multiplied 10 times up to 700 times. But fasting is the thing which, which has a special reward and that reward will be given by Allah Almighty. No need to write any question from this. But we will proceed to the next one. Next student. Miss Um Miss Sara. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mutarif uh, Matruf Mutraf from the trouble mean what from the uh, the trouble of tribe of uh, tribe of Banu Amir Ibn Sa Saad Sa Sa Uthman ibn Affan is Uthman bin uh, Abu al Ash. Oh, it is a Sakafi Sakafi Uthman Sakafi. Him do the some milk that the the board for him. Mutraf said, I am fasting. Uthman said, I hear 
بلال I heard the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم say fasting is a shell against the fire just like he shell of anyone of you against fighting. Okay, so here we need to write uh, the questions. Everyone write this question. What will be our shield against the hellfire? What will be our shield against the hell fire? Answer according to the hadith number 1639 of Sunan Ibn Majah. Fasting is a shield against the fire against the hellfire so according to the hadith 1639 fasting is a shield against the fire miss amina what is the question and answer here assalamu alaikum teacher wa alaikum assalam the question is what is our shield against the hellfire and the answer is fasting is our shield against the hellfire. Okay. Now read this one. Okay. Bismillah. It was narrated from Sahal Ibn Sayyid that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said in paradise, there is a gate called Rayyan. On the day of restriction, the call will go out saying, where are those who used to fast? Whoever is among those who used to fast will enter it. And whoever enters will never test, test again. Test again. Okay. <clears throat> so here we will write this question. Paradise has many gates or doors. Which door is for those who fast? So question is, the paradise has many gates or doors. So which gate or door is for those who fast? The answer is <clears throat> the gate of Rayyan is for those who fast. The answer is the gate of Rayyan is for those who fast. Miss Kazin. Yeah. So what is the question and answer here? Um, I don't know what was the question because I couldn't hear properly and I don't know what the answer is and I don't know what the question is because my internet was slow and I had to... to uh... Okay, Sabina. Yes, sir. Uh... The, uh, the paradise has many gates or doors. So which gate or door uh, is for those who uh, fast? An answer is the gate of Rayyan is for those who fast. Okay, good. Kazin, I think she's busy. Miss Sabina, you read this. Uh, it was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, said, Whoever fasts Ramadan out of faith and the hope of reward will be forgiven his previous sins. So, well, our Ramadan is also approaching, so we will write question according to this. What will happen if we fast 
this uh, month of Ramadan <clears throat> with the sincere faith and hope of reward. The question is, <clears throat> what will happen if we fast this month of Ramadan with sincere faith and hope of reward. Answer according to the Hadith 1641. Answer according to the Hadith 1641 of Sunnan Ibn Majah. Is our previous sins will be forgiven. Our previous sins will be forgiven. So anyone tell me what is the question and answer here? Sabina? You asking me? Jesus? Yes. Okay. You tell. The question is, what if we fast for sincere? With and sincere the faith and hope of reward. And hope of reward, yeah. Question the, is, uh, question is, is okay, you answer. Continue, Amina. Okay, the answer is the briefest sins will be forgiven. Yes, Miss Sabina, you have a laptop, am I right? No, sir, I have a laptop, but today I'm using. Phone. So, there are many students in our group who can't join the class because of the time issues. Is it possible for you to write question and answer of every class and send me so that I can share it in the group? Okay, sir, I'll try. Mm, try I'll to type it. after every class question and answer with these numbers and send so okay. that we can share it in the group. Miss Sara. Yes, it was related from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said when the first night of Ramadan comes, the, the Satans uh, and uh, mischievous jinns are chained up, and the gates of the fire are closed and the land of its gates are opened. And the gates of paradise are opened and the none of its gates are closed and the caller cries out. Uh, o seeker of God, um, proceed. O seeker of evil, stop. And Allah has next people, people whom he frees from the fire and set happens every day. So this is an excellency of the month of Ramadan. And whenever month of Ramadan comes, the devils are changed up and the gates of the hell are closed. This is quite a famous hadith as well. So no need to write any question for here. Just try to remember it as much as possible. Next student, uh, Amina. Yes, teacher. It was narrated from Shabir that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, at every breaking of the fast, Allah has people whom he frees from the fire. And that happens every night. So in every month, night of Ramzan, Allah free some people from the hellfire.
next to the uh, miss cousin sabina uh, it was narrated that anas bin malik said ramadan began and the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is be upon him said that this month has come to you and in it there is a night that is better than a thousand months whoever is deprived of it is deprived of all goodness and no one is deprived of its goodness except one who is truly deprived so this is about uh, laylatul qadr that laylatul qadr is better than thousand nights and, yeah. and if we are unable to take any benefit from from that night then this mean we are truly deprived okay. so right one question what about the one who is deprived of the goodness of laylatul qadr question what about the one who is deprived of the goodness of laylatul qadr the answer is that person is truly deprived that person is truly deprived Okay, Miss Miss Sara. Sorry, the answer uh, for the the next um the previous uh, question is that person is oh truly deprived. Truly deprived. I know. Ah, oh, truly, truly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> it was narrated that uh, Salah, Salah ibn Zufar, Salah ibn Zufar said we were with um, Amir Ammar, Ammar on the day con concerning which there was some adapt, a roasted sheep was brought and some of the people moved away. Um, Ammar, Amir Amir said, whoever is fasting on this day has despoiled, despoiled Abu Qasim. <clears throat> so this is uh, about the <coughs> Eid days. And especially those Eid when people are in doubt whether today the moon of the Eid was seen or not. We will study this thing in detail in the in the hadith of Eid. And according to some people, this hadith is also about the last day of Shaban. So there are some hadiths about that as well. We will study those hadiths, inshallah, later in detail. Okay, we have one more. Then we will write a question here. So, Ms. Amina? Read yes, teacher. Read okay. Okay. It was narrated that Abu, Abu Huraira said the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbid anticipating anticipating the fast by fasting one day before the sighting of the crescent. Yes. So here we need to write the question can we fast one day before Ramadan or make some changes to question. Can we do a nafli fast and can we do an uh, optional fast one day before Ramadan? The answer is no. We cannot do any 
optional fasting one day before Ramadan? The answer is no. We cannot do any optional fast before the month of Ramadan. Kazin? Yes. Is, what is the question and answer here? The question is, can we do an optional a fast before one day before Ramadan? The answer is no, we cannot do optional fast before with one mm. day before Ramadan. Good. Now read this one. It was narrated from Qasim Abu Ab Abdur Rahman that he heard away he being Abu Sufan on the pulpit saying the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi used to say the pulpit before the month of, of Ramadan fasting will begin on such and such a day uh, uh, but, but we are going to start fasting earlier so whoever wants to start fasting earlier I don't, for example in Shaban let, let him do so and whoever wants to wait until Ramadan begins let him do so so here we see that Prophet ﷺ and his companion used to of fast in the month of Shaban as well but the fasting in the month of Shaban is optional, not necessary. So, just uh, write one sentence here. That fasting in the month of Shaban is optional. Fasting in the month of Shaban is optional. Miss uh, Sabina, what is the sentence here? That we need to write. Fasting in the month of Shaban is optional. So this is the month of Shaban. If any of you want to fast, start fasting, then you can start fasting. But this is an optional thing for you. But next month, which is the month of Ramadan, that fasting is necessary for you. You cannot ignore that. Now read this. Uh, it was narrated that Umm Salama said, the messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, used to join Shaban to Ramadan. So same thing is repeated that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to fast in the month of Shaban as well. But for us, this is optional thing. If we fast in the month of Shaban, good. If we don't fast in the month of Shaban, no problem. Miss Umm Sara, read this. It was narrated that uh, Rabia, Rabia. Uh, is... I want to... Yes, Miss Sara, complete this. Then I will come to Abhi. Ibn, Ibn Ghaz asked Aisha about the fasting of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She said he used to fast all of Sha'ban until he joined it to Ramadan. So another of these that we can fast in the month of Shaban as well, but this is optional for us, not necessary. Miss Amina, any question? Yeah, teacher. I wanted to say, Sarah, she said reading in English is difficult for me. So I wanted to ask if she can read in Arabic. Yes, she can she said, read in Arabic, no problem. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to say that. Okay, good. Masara, you can read in Arabic as well, no problem. Okay. Okay, now Amina, read this one. Okay. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, do not invite Ramadan by fasting one or two days before, except man who has habitual pattern of fasting, in which case, let him fast. So some people fix the dates uh, every month they fast. If that days come one day before Ramadan, then you can fast. Otherwise, we cannot fast one day or two days before uh, Ramadan. We have already written this question. So no need to repeat it. It's like those people who fast on Thursday and Monday? 
Mm, Monday fast on Monday to it it varies from person to person. No need to worry about it. But if that days come, then you can fast. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you cannot fast one day before Ramadan. Yeah. Okay. Miss uh, Kazin. Yeah. It was narrated from Abu Huraina that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, When it is the middle of Sha'ban, do not fast until Ramadan comes. So, previously we have studied that we can all we have the option of optional fasting in the month of Sha'ban. So, if anyone did not start fasting in the month of Sha'ban and the 15th date of Sha'ban has come, then they better not fast for next 15 days as well. And Ramzan come, then start fasting. This is another optional thing for us, so no need to write any question for that. Now, Miss Sabina. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, a Bedouin came to the Prophet وسلم, and said, I have seen the new crescent tonight. He said, do you bear witness? that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, yes. He said, get up, O Bilal, and announce to the people that they should fast tomorrow. Abu In Ali many said, countries, yeah. often we see there are issues about the starting of the month of Ramadan date. So people are divided into two groups usually. Some say that Ramzan started on this month, others say Ramzan started on that date. So there's a difference of opinion. So this are these tells us that uh, one witness is enough to start the Islamic month. So whether it is Eid day, whether it is Ramadan, if a single Muslim comes and be a witness before the ruler or before the government person, then that person can start the Islamic month. In this way, this conflict can be avoided. Okay. Miss you, Miss Sala. حدثنا أبو بكر بن أبي شيبة حدثنا هشيم عن أبي بشر عن أبي عمير بن أنس بن مالك قال حدثني عمومتي من الأنصار من أصحاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قالوا أغمي علينا هلال شوال فأصبحنا صياما فجاء ركب من آخر النهار فشهدوا عند النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنهم رأوا الهلال بالأمس فأمرهم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أن يفطروا وأن يخرجوا إلى عيدهم من الغد. صحيح. So here again, <clears throat> same thing is repeated that even if a common person saw the moon and other people don't see, no problem. We can accept their testimony and we can start the Islamic month. So yumkinuna an nukbilu shahadatu amatun nas. Then we have what was narrated concerning. Okay, next time, inshallah, we'll start this hadith. If anyone has any question, they can ask me now. No question. So, see you all next time, inshallah. Ma salama.